Do you want to know something really funny about that B-roll at the start was when I went, well, when I decided to go to Hallett Cove, I wasn't really planning on filming anything there. And then I'm just like, I also want to make a YouTube video and you know, I kind of wanted something at the start. So why not? Let's just shoot some B-roll. But when I was setting up my camera and all of that, I um, realized that I left my variable ND filter at home. So all of that B-roll was shot at like F22 or F18 but I wanted to shoot it at like f4 to f5.6, so. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I have a feeling this, hang on, I wanna move this plant because this is directly above my head. Sorry, Nathan, I'm moving your plant. Move that. There we go, I don't have anything sticking out of my head now. So I thought I'd just make a very quick video explaining lenses and how some lenses compress images and how some lenses, lenses, lenses distort images. Here's an example. So I took this photo of Callan at 16 mil. As you can see, Callan is directly in the middle of the frame and you can see so much of the landscape behind him. If we take that exact same frame, that, why can't I talk today? If we take that exact same frame at 24 mil, here's a side-by-side -side comparison from 16 mil to 24. As you can see, the shot take, as you can see, the shot taken at 24 mil, the background is a little bit closer compared to the 16 mil. So here's another shot taken at 35 mil. Here's another shot taken at 70 mil, and here's another shot taken at 200 mil see the shot that was taken at 200 mil that background is pulled so much closer to Callan compared to the 16 mil. Let me just do a side-by-side -side comparison with the 16 mil and the 200 mil. All right so for some reason the second half of the audio in the in that recording just played up so I'm gonna have to re-record this again. So pretty much if you shoot with a 16 mil or a 24 mil you're probably doing landscape photography or you're probably doing interior or architecture photography. If you shoot with a 50 mil, uh, 85 mil, 100 mil, you know, you're probably doing portraits or you're doing um, like product photography or I don't know, car photography. If you shoot 200 mil or more like 400 mil or 600 mil, you're probably doing wildlife photography, you know, but here's the thing. Photography is subjective. You don't have to follow those rules. You don't have to shoot landscapes with a 16 mil. You know, I've shot landscapes at 200. Here are a couple of photos that I've shot at 200 mil. And the same thing for portraits. You don't have to shoot at 50 mil. You don't have to shoot at 85 mil. If you want, shoot at 16 mil. And if I had to be honest, you can get some really cool effects shooting at 16 mil. So that's pretty much all I needed to record. Um, yeah, back to the original video. So that's pretty much just lenses and focal lengths uh, in a nutshell. Um, I didn't want to drag this video on for too long. I just wanted to make a very quick video explaining, I guess, this topic. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking this video. Go down and hit the subscribe button and, you know, all of the other stuff down below. With all that said, stay safe, love you all, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to try and upload every single Friday. Try. Um, and I'm also going to try and upload a YouTube short every single Sunday. So stick around for all of that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right, see ya.